The St. Paul Public Library offers great events and classes every day. At one of these free events, folks were invited to bring their collectibles and garage sale finds to be appraised by Mark Moran, an author and guest expert from the PBS hit Antiques Roadshow. I've been involved in antiques in one way or another uh, for 40 years. I started off in the 1970s as a collector and then the 1980s I became a part-time dealer. My full-time job was as a newspaper man. I, was, uh, I worked in newspapers for 30 years. So, and then in the 1990s I started writing books and I've written 27 books on various antiques and collectibles. Yeah, it's impressive even when I say it and then uh, cooked up this idea of bringing my an an antique appraisal events to libraries, historical societies, senior communities, uh, you know, other community organizations, and uh, the response was instant and enthusiastic. I've, I've booked over 400 events in less than three years, and I just booked my 121st program just for 2014. They're often carved out of ivory. Many of them are carved out of wood. The market for these it really is pretty limited. How much did your husband spend on this? Do you I, remember? Six dollars. Six dollars. <laughs> if you wanted to sell this today, you could double your money. <laughs> Many people uh, who bring in their treasures don't care what it's worth, uh, if, especially in the case of something that's come down through the family. Uh, you know, they just want to know if the story that they've heard all their lives about you know, Uncle Harry's, uh, you know, uh, table lamp or, or Aunt Jessie's vase or whatever. They just want to know if the story is true. Every program, I see something wonderful and, and cool, and, and um, uh, again. Uh, it's just a, a really, really fun program. I have more fun than anyone else at the event. This was just one of the hundreds of fun, free events and classes being held every day at the St. Paul Public Library. To view the entire calendar, go to sppl.org and click on Events and Classes.